Good. And then we're going to live into Facebook. I never know where to put it. If I should do it on my business page, if I should do it on my da 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 da. Right? Just make a decision so you don't have to worry about that again. With Edwin. So. I always do everything on a business. Just here's my insight business. So you could create ads with it. And you could, you could, I think you could boost on personal. Maybe not. I'm not sure if that's an easier decider for you. Right. Right. I can share it into my personal, right. Yeah. And then boost into, okay, let's see. I think we're going live. Okay. Preparing to stream. Got oh, it. God. All right, Edwin, I am excited that you are here with me again today. Edwin Frondozo from 100X Life, uh, the host and producer of the Business Leadership Podcast. Welcome back, my friend. I'm excited to chat with you again today. Catherine, thank you for having me. This is amazing. Happy Wednesday. Happy first Wednesday. Wednesday. First Wednesday of August. Can you believe it's August? I know. Time flies. So... <laughs> It's crazy, right? So I loved our conversation last week when we spoke about the journey of getting to 100x for you, how you declared this audacious goal for your tech company, um, Flashpoint, and your Flashpoint, and looking at your process of silent scribing and speaking. And today mm -hmm. I would love for you to start sharing what that 100 day journey was like, that first 100 day X that you declared, and then how that moved you into this 100 X movement you've created. Yeah, no, thank you for asking. It's interesting and it's very timely because I'm in going into a phase of, not exploration, but of expansion and 100 xing my own mindset and, and sort of this ecosystem that seems to be growing around in this movement where I'm able to share my story and, and see people get inspired and also do their own side of 100x. But, but you and I talked about this, Catherine, right? Yeah, people could see that top level, but you will need support. So when you ask that question, I actually went through some of my notes. Um, I love that. Just recently, because I'm trying to think about how I can support my community and people who, who are, you know, feel the call to level up, to become who they always could be or want to be. Um, but that first 100 days, and I want to get this more succinct. I actually wrote down at the beginning of the year, Catherine, I wrote down a, min a podcast mini series, 12 episodes of my journey through the, my first 100 days. So it's actually, it's on, it was on my hundred day epic to do this, this court this time, but I haven't reached it yet, but I think, I think I want to do it before the end of the year, Amazing. Um, but, but because it's something that I am always asked, but to get started that first day, September 22nd, um, when I made, when I had the, got the courage. So we'll start out that day when I got the courage to declare it and felt right. Um, I recorded a video. And I, and I released it. I released it actually in our own mastermind group first. And then I posted it. Oh, maybe I posted it on Instagram and Facebook. And then I just shared the post with everyone else. But mm. it was freeing. The first emotion I felt was like excited, free. This feels right. And it was scary though. But I felt like this is great. This is, this is meant to be. And ultimately, as soon as that happened, something shifted inside. Um, inside me where things started happening, things started manifesting, you know, up until that day, I always heard about manifestations and things happen, who people are in purpose. And, and, you know, I've always not to say I was lucky, but things manifested in my life, mm. but I didn't know what was the connection or if it aligned or whatnot, but because I made this declaration to the universe, to God, to everyone, you know, to witness, um, things started aligning. Like I have always been someone, Catherine, and maybe you could relate or people listening who, who does your best. We work hard, we hustle. Mm. Um, there is no excuse in us. Um, but when that happened, I was moving in a different pace. I don't know what happened. I was in purpose. I was, and things started just lining up. Ideas started coming out almost out of nowhere in my journaling 
or in my reflections or in my thoughts, in my running. Conversations started happening and it was exciting. I was just like, whoa, if I never, you know, I started thinking, Catherine, I started thinking if I didn't declare this, would have all this stuff happened, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. But a lot, yeah, but a lot of the things, you know, at that time I was really, and I, I think I shared this last, last time, you know, I was in that dark space. So I was also turning to God and prayers. And what I realize is when you make this declaration to become or to walk the path that most people don't, you're actually doing God's work, right? Like you are, you know, if we are, and not to get super, you know, religious or spiritual, but if we were put in our maker's um, image, there's a mission for us. And the mission ain't easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually scary. It takes some big kahunas to uh, declare things like that because you have a purpose or a mission to inspire, to create impact, and to leave a legacy ultimately. And and mm-hmm. for me, that's you know that that starts with my family. How do I break generational trauma? Right. Um, how do we break out of these generational mindset blocks that we've had even you know you and i work together a lot during this um um coming out in terms of last year finding the traumas within my own family or Mm -hmm. within within the culture of the filipinos right but it's just really like how do you break that that's not easy you're doing that for a family you're doing that for a culture right you're doing that for my daughter right to to change that stuff but um yeah so that that would be initially what had happened and I, I've been asked this, but people would say, so how did your team in Slingshot react to this? Truth be told, I didn't tell them I was doing this. <laughs> they just saw it on the outside. Yeah. So what did, go ahead. Yeah. So I was going to say, so just to get people up to speed, just for those tuning in. So Edwin declared over a year ago now that he was going to 100x his business and 100x his life right? And we're talking about the journey of actually doing that. But there's something interesting about when you declare it for yourself, because your becoming shifts yourself energetically in the world, right? Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, you're almost doing God's work, right? And I, I was really touched by you saying that because it is, it does change who you are and who you are becoming. And so it's interesting that you say that your team didn't even know about the declaration, but in fact started merging themselves into this 100X declaration for yourself. I would love to hear more. Yeah, so I didn't share it, but I think I started showing up differently, Mm -hmm. a little more focused, a little more, not a little more optimistic. I was always optimistic, but maybe it was blind faith optimism, right? That Mm. this is me just being an overconfident kid at the time. Um, right where I believe that I could will myself to things. Mm. But I think one thing as what comes to mind, as you were saying how, you know, doing God's work, but it's interesting because when you declare or put your faith into a bigger purpose, sort of that pressure on yourself to be someone else actually get, it's a big load off. And you're like, you no, 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 I'm doing this because this is, what was meant to be done, right? right? This is not me trying to have this big ego, like, oh, I'm going to, you know, like this, this, no, this is, I'm actually doing God's work. This is, um, I'm helping people become who they, who they are or letting them take off their skin and inspire and do it, doing it in public and, and, and declaring it as well, which is super scary. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if that, that got to the point, but, um, no, absolutely. And, you know, there was something interesting that happened after you completed your first hundred day, mm-hmm. you made another declaration that you're going to do then a second hundred day. So take us through that whole thought process after, after you actually conquered the hundred days. And then what was the thought or the idea around doing it again? And then now completing a third one and now really riding that coattail and really supporting people to do the same in their own lives. Yeah. So I, I know we talked about it last week, the hundred days came and gone, but during that process, my belief turned to conviction mm. um, because I was practicing and I was doing these 
I was changing my language. I was recording myself saying, I am 100x. I am going 100x. So all the self-talk became to conviction that I knew that I was going to do it. And maybe 100 days was a little audacious, but it took 100 days for me to switch that, 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 you know, that mindset that who I am and what I believe, right? I know you and I just talked before the recording that there's a 21 and 90 day split. There's 21 days to create a habit. And you know this being and helping hundreds and thousands of people change their movement and their lifestyle, their health habits, but it takes 90 days to make it a lifestyle. So as you asked me like, Oh, why did you do it again? So literally around the 90 day mark, I saw the end coming. Huh. Um, and I'm like, Oh, hundred days is right around the corner, but there's something to this movement. There's something to this hundred days. I like it. At that time, I didn't know what I was going to do. I allowed the 100 days to go. And then it was January 1st. I started reflecting. I had this time. And I'm like, I was deciding because I stopped doing these daily video blogs too. So those were powerful for me because that was me saying out loud who I am, what I'm doing. And it's like my verbal journal, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is actually pretty powerful too. Um, and I'm not saying anyone for everyone to record it and put it publicly. But recording yourself talk out um, is actually pretty powerful. And, you know, image, image of me from movies and people who are always getting uh, people who are always reflection. I don't know if you remember those those little small tape recorders. Of course. That people would do mental notes. Yeah. I think that was the same thing, but we don't do it so much anymore. Right, right. Right. Unless it's in your unless it's in your profession to do those those notes. Oh, I just met with Catherine and this right. is what I thought, yes. you know, real quickly. Right. Um, so I was wondering. So I put the daily vlogs on 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 hold, but I was like, there's something around this hundred days. And I started like masterminding in this this my thought book. I have a thought book, which is basically one of these art books art sketchbooks and I started like creating like oh there's something around this hundred day thing that is very powerful mm. so I had decided that I would um I would do another hundred day but I wouldn't do it right away so it was like January I was like and then I started like calculating okay if I do a hundred days and I wanted to you know how many could I do in one year and a hundred days through okay I could do only three but how you know when is the start date Yes. And when is the end date? So I, it's not arbitrary, but I, because I just ended in January 31st, uh, December 31st, I'm like, I can't start right now. I got to actually give some time to think about what I'm going to focus on in the next mm. hundred days. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have the ne next one end on April 30 for April 30th. And then the next one starts at May 23rd, ends on August 31st. And then the next one, January to uh, September 22nd, which will be my first year anniversary of doing a full cycle of this. And that ends in December, December 31st. So I'm like, oh, that's great. So what are these 20 days? 20 days is actually a time of reflection, mm. reassessment, planning, strategy, realigning, mm. um, going back through the last hundred days to see what worked, what didn't work, what felt right, what didn't feel right. How could you improve? What do you want to double down? And um, I had decided what I was going to do on my second hundred days. And I, you know, looking back, I'm like, Oh, hundred Xing is kind of crazy, but maybe I'm going to look to double X, you know, double our revenue, this next, our next one. And maybe I'm going to start a video show. And like, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about the how, but I was thinking about the what and the why's right. Mm -hmm. Catherine, at the, you know, at the time I was like, okay, I have this podcast asset, business leadership podcast. People are still reaching out to me. What can I do? But I also understood that I wanted to get in front of the camera more. I wanted to do more video. I wanted to get more comfortable in that because I'm comfortable speaking, but how do I do that? And I, and, and I just spent a hundred days doing video vlogs. Right. Um, so I had, you know, I was like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to build, build, grow our team in slingshot. I'm going to pitch a show to NPR. I think I, I, I wrote that down. So I started doing all these things and I wrote it down and I, and I, and I, and then the December, and then I, January 22nd happened and I did a video, but I go, this is what I'm going to do. And the same thing happened, Catherine, aside from the belief in, the, in that stuff, I was in mission and I was in goal and I didn't know how I was going to accomplish any of those. But as the, as when I look back at our, uh, April 31st, I hit each and each and every goal that I wanted to do. It yes. didn't look, 
And it didn't look the way I wanted it to, or I thought it would, you know, I'm not trying to, the practice I'm trying to get to is not the, the, the path anymore. It's just the what and the why it could be audacious still. Yes. Right. Um, like I have a current audacious goal right now to get onto 50 shows. Thank to you. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, actually I'm, I'm cheating. We have three here. We do have three. <laughs> that's can, okay. They all I, count. I, I could right? count it as one, but that's actually pretty audacious. 50 shows in the hundred days. That's like one every two days. Well, I reframed it now, Catherine. I said, you know, confirm 50 shows. Cause I'm realizing a lot of show, uh, producers or hosts is right. It's very tough. So to get the commitment, I think I'm happy with, because literally I have one person who said, okay, let's have your recording on December 22nd. I'm like, all right, that's it. I don't know what I'm talking about then, but let's do it. Yeah. (laughs) Well, and that's exactly it. So as you know, I've run now 400 day protocols, my program, which used to be a 28 day protocol, right? Really looking at how do we build a habit? And what I found for my clients in the fitness and nutrition space, Mm -hmm. we can do it. We can go full tilt for a short period of time. But like you said, the mad mastery really happens over the course of a long runway. Right. And what I found for, I mean, I specialize in working with busy working women. What, what I found in the course of a hundred days, it allows room to breathe. It allows for the baby steps, the practices, right? We always talk about you, especially in our masterminds, you and I, right? What are our morning practices? What are our morning rituals that support our day so that we can be intentional with our day, right? Well, those morning practices, you know, if you're, you know, you're great for five days, follow up for one, it doesn't allow you that rhythm and consistency to get the momentum. What a hundred days, I believe, allows is to allow that intention to flow through to momentum, to flow through to purpose, to throw through a really beautiful continuum that allows a hundred days to really become magical, right? And like you said, you became somebody else. You created this conviction of which others were now magnetized to you in a completely different light, right? And so tell me what you now see is possible after completing your own 300 days and tell it. And yeah, let's start with that. So I'm not fully complete. I'm almost complete. Um, I'm I'm, I'm past the two third mark of this third one. And I was just thinking about this, Catherine, we need together with a hundred days is find all the research around a hundred day stuff. Mm. I bet you, I bet you people did research on this already. Of course. And we'll create a, we'll create a research paper. Yes. There you go. Make I'm it in. real. Anyways, I put it out there on the live ether. There you uh, go. Ka- Catherine's my accountability partner out there. Uh, FYI. Yep. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. What I learned, I learned that, you know, two things. And I, we, we might've talked about this last week. I, I can't remember a hundred percent, but you know, hundred days gives us enough time put it this way 100 days is a lot of time first off you know if you were to focus on one thing for 100 days five days a week times you know times eight that's 40 times 14 we that's a lot of time you could crush things out in 100 days and move on to the next thing yep right so realizing that 100 days is a lot of time the flip side is it 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 flies by like this so if you don't have the right intention, if you don't, if you don't do the work to understand what you're building towards or who you want to serve, um, you're going to be lost. But the perfect thing about the 100 days is if you are true to the 100 days, when it ends, you're going to reflect and say, oh, you know what? Because like, I, I, I put some stuff up for this 100 days and some of them are already falling off and I'm already like, OK, you know. Mm. Things, things are arising, which I thought would come later, like this hundred day program or sharing it more. But what moved me was doing this 50, you know, putting the declaration of 50 podcast made me realize what I talk about and what, what moves people and what people realize. So it's like doing it, it's having that hundred conversation practice that I had before, um, but like live and creating content as well. It's kind of like a hack (laughs) as well. It's, it's, it's a great hack. Um, Yeah, but what I'm learning is that it allows us 100-day practitioners to stop and reflect and have this scheduled time to reflect and maybe take our foot off the pedal. Mm. And it's only for less than three weeks. Mm -hmm. 
don't get me wrong. All of us are A type people. We're still working. Yep. But you're saying, okay, this is actually the time that I'm going to go to the rest area on my journey. I'm still on route. I might have went off the wrong highway, but I got to rest. I got to look back. I got to see how we got here and see what made sense, right? And if you have these scheduled um, times of reflection, I think it allows us to rejig. I think the world doesn't have this at all. We have weekends. Yep. And we have holidays. Yep. Um, but, but we don't have few and far between way few, if that's yeah. right. I, I, you know, when I think about people in the professional workforce, none of them reflect on if their goals or journeys on that maybe, maybe at a shareholder meeting and they're like, Hey, hey oh, you're fired. <laughs> like you said, you're going to do this and do this. And what happened? Like we, us in the corporate world, we're not nice when it comes to that. Cause we're all based on this goals without reflecting on if it made sense. But, um, but I'm learning that this infrastructure for me personally is so powerful that it inspired me to share it, you know, and get on shows like yourself Yes. Um, and share what I'm learning. I don't have it. I don't have all the answers, but I do have the infrastructure and the tools that I'm doing that I believe if anyone has, you know, an audacious goal or an audacious vision for themselves you know, put in the right work, put in the right, you know, accountability structures, someone could thrive real quickly in a hundred days and transform themselves. And if, yes. and what, what will they'll probably transform is that mindset, that hundred X mindset where they're like, a hundred percent. Yeah. I, I don't only believe I am yeah. right. Yeah. Like you're going from understanding that it's possible to realizing, Oh, I can hear, yeah. I can, I can not only do it, but I am doing it. Yes. Yeah. Right? Well, so that's, that's what I see for my women, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, you know, I want to just bring back this conversation because I think we touched on this last call, last time we spoke about the two ways of doing things that have been traditionally there. 365 days, right, which creates complete overwhelm. And then the quarters, right? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, we hear it in business all the time right? Mm -hmm. Especially in the entrepreneur space that we are in, right? Looking at what, what are you doing for Q1? Yeah. But I really love this 22 days of reflection that really allows us to pause. And like you said, takes our pedal foot off the gas, right? And then allows us to kind of reset, refocus, rejig, and then go full tilt again for a hundred days. But more than that, it's this opportunity to remaster almost, in a way that's really different, right? So one of the things that my women do, yes, they come in for the fitness and the nutrition with often a weight loss goal. But like you said, I see one of the biggest transformation is the mindset piece. They become somebody completely different mm -hmm. that even though they had this goal in mind, they weren't sure if it was possible themselves for themselves. And it really shifts to this unbelievable becoming of who they desire to be. And then often people layer that on and do another hundred days with me because they recognize that you can go deeper. Right. And that's what I think you've done so beautifully is that every hundred days that you've taken on, you go a little bit deeper into those practices. You go deeper into getting clearer, unmuddying the water and leveling up that hundred X life. And one of the things that I wanted to start sharing with people that are tuning in today and that are watching this or viewing this here after is the, the masterclass that you're going to be sharing with everybody. Kind of like you said, allowing people to get clarity on what is their intention? What is their why? What is their what? on creating a hundred day for themselves. You have created this beautiful movement of cafe 100, but now you're going to be offering this unbelievable masterclass. I believe you said potentially two days of really getting clear on what are people's why, what is the what for their hundred day and really sharing your beautiful process of the three S's, the silence, the scribing, the speaking. So tell us a little bit about that masterclass. Yeah, you heard it here first. Here it Catherine is. Catherine Tanaka Fitness is um is definitely um the best uh, coach you can get. <laughs> she gets you to move. She gets you to you. move. Um, no, no. I mean, this is something that 
I've been thinking about, and truth be told, this is something I had wrote, written about almost at the beginning of this year in terms of how, I mean, I'll share this with you, Catherine, and I see you in real life, but you'll see like, oh, this is, I, th I think I called it something differently, but mm -hmm. obviously it was, um, it was that, but you know, what I want to share is, and what I'm learning is that I can't share in a 20, 30, 45 minute podcast interview is that process, right? Like I'm able to share my story and that's fascinating. And people just stop right there. Like, this is great. This is amazing. I want to share this, you know? And what's, what's been really evident is that people want to know how to implement it, you know? And I've shared that people look to implement it already. Like people have taken their own initiative to do it. And I'm so proud. I'm like, Oh my God, I, you know, I have this story and this process and that that could go. So what I my intention is, and I haven't decided if it's a two or a three day, um, but I want to make sure it's it's very specific. Um, but talking about why the hundred days, you know, well, what what has been the blocks for you to create this vision of your life, right? And then some of the tools that I'm doing to ensure that the 100 days is epic, right? I started coining these 100 days, 100 day epics. Epics is a, <laughs> I didn't know this. It's actually spelled E-P-O-C-H, like epic, but I use epic, like epic. Um, but it's actually a certain time in your life where things happen. It's, it's, it's a timeline, right? So you could have it every 100 days if you want, um, 100 day epics. And the process in which to keep yourself accountable, mm. how I do it through my ritual, uh, my triple S, which is, you know, silence, which is meditation, scribing, which is my journaling and saying or speaking where I record myself do it. Um, you know, th there's other parts of my hundred days that is powerful. And I understand that it's not privy for everyone to have this, but I have the blessings and benefit of having mastermind groups mm -hmm. not only one um <laughs> we are in many we're in many but maybe too many but ultimately showing how to find accountability and it doesn't have to be crazy it could be someone you know someone one of your best friends it could be a group of people but it's someone that you trust to share with your goals and how you could you know put in some sort of either a daily or a weekly or a monthly infrastructure where you share an update because that's the full cycle of, of a hundred days to make sure you're moving in there, you know? And then I think as soon as you understand how simple it is, you know, you're going to have to hopefully have the courage to be like, okay, this is who I am. This is what I want to do. And this, you know, I've done the work. I know what I want. I've always had this blockage of completing the goals because I, you know, Catherine and I, part of we, we've, you know, we've had the benefit and blessing to be together in other different mastermind groups, but a lot of the blocks are all the same, mm -hmm. right? It's that courage to put it out there to understand. But um, once you do, it's freeing and you, and you start flying, right? So, yeah. So we are going to be sharing more about the structure of the 100x life master mind next week. But for those of you that want to know more about Edwin's upcoming masterclass of really getting into the process of what and why of a hundred days and the process to implement the silence, the scribing, the speaking, you can go to the hundred X dot life, right? hundred with the numbers. Um, and you can sign up there to get notified of when this masterclass is going to be pulled together. And one of the things that I love about you, Edwin, and for those of you that haven't tuned into the business leadership podcast, you're so great at storytelling and you're really great at taking people from one place to the other, right? If somebody's a visual learner or if someone is process driven, you have a really beautiful way to move people through so that people understand things that often are complex, right? And so what I love about this masterclass that you're putting on is that you're going to actually share how to create that why, how to get clear on what, so that if people and when people take on their own 100-day epic, that they can get 
the biggest benefit of moving through your process, that process of the hundred, how to hundred X their life. So I'm excited about that. And we're going to speak more about that next week, as well as talking about what's available in a mastermind, like the hundred X at life. And, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited about that. But as we are closing off today, what are your final thoughts on why people need to know more about the 100-day masterclass, 100x masterclass? Well, the first thought that, you know, understanding that you already have this burning desire, right? If you're listening here and you've been listening, thank you for your time. Um, it's, a, it's a gift. It is you are hearing things or relating to things that have maybe not gotten to, you know, where you have gone. So one, one thing I, I shared last week is how long I've been an entrepreneur. But it was almost overnight when I made that declaration that things started moving um, really quickly. I, like I said, I've been a hustler. I've never had was short on intention or learning or getting things out the door. Mm. You know, if I had to go to a client site, I'll do it. I won't even think twice. So I, it, it's not me trying to work harder. I had to change what I was doing, how I was thinking mm. and what I was saying. And, you know, being around people like Catherine all the time, it helps, right? And, you know, having that ability. So if you're listening here and intrigued, hit me up. Um, I'm creating this right now. And I'm doing it with you, right? I'm, I'm one year in. I'm a practitioner, right? I'm an ambassador. Mm. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an, I'm an, I'm bad ass ambassador. <laughs> a bad ambassador, yes. Um, yeah. Of this whole program, right? I'm not only a client. I'm the, you know, it's that commercial. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yes, you know. I know exactly which one. That hair commercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, but that's also- exactly this, right? But that's exactly it. And I, and I tell my, my clients this all the time. <laughs> it isn't that you need to be 10 years ahead. It is those that have mastered it that are only four steps ahead that can pull you up because you see how tangible, how possible, how realistic that goal is to do it for yourself. It makes it that much more powerful, Right. Like, yes, of course, you want to see, you know, those people that are ahead of the curve. But when people like you are doing the work in the trenches, right, doing the things, demanding of themselves as much as they demand from you, that is, I think, the best coachability scenarios ever, personally. So I thank you for sharing that, Edwin. I thank you for your time, as always. Uh, Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I look forward to chatting with you again next week. Amazing. Thank you for your time. Amazing, my friend.